Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis call, and this is for trading on September the 13th, 2019. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. All right, as usual, we'll get started with our calendar here. All right, so the big event today was the ECB here. So ECB, we had talked about how ECB may not meet market expectations, and as a result of that, we could see Euro go up. But actually, it was quite the reverse. ECB came in with a bigger stimulus package than what the market was expecting. So what they have done is they have cut interest rates, so not the main financing a rate here, but the deposit rates, and they have cut it by 10 basis points, so they are into negative deposit rates at this point. They have also put forward um, a more uh, stimulus package as well. So one of the things that they're going to start doing again is the asset uh, purchasing of the securities. So their asset purchase program will be uh, starting again, as well as there is no end date to it. So they're going to continue on with that uh, without really having a finished date in mind. So uh, both of those were actually quite, uh, uh, they were bigger than what the market had expected. So overall, they are going to help. They also had um, other stuff about um, the reserve requirements for the banks here as well. So overall, they're going to help with liquidity um, in the market. So overall, it was quite dovish. And as a result of that, we saw Euro drop but then it reversed quite rapidly. And some of the reasons here for the reversal, one was we got news that, or comments came out, that said that EU is willing to um, give or push the date back for Brexit in order to avoid a no deal Brexit. So that was positive for both uh, British pound and Euro. And then we also, um, we also heard that Draghi actually asked or so, or said that in with the monetary policy stimulus, they also the countries also needed to provide fiscal stimulus. So basically, ECB seems to be really behind um, helping the economy grow, and they do not want to see the economy go into recession. Um, and now this also paves the way for the Fed. So we heard that President Trump tweeted actually that ECB is supporting the economy and Fed is not. Fed, uh, ECB has gone into negative rates and Fed is still not willing to cut interest rates. So Fed needs to bring the interest rates to zero. So those comments are from uh, President Trump, and then we had Brexit news. Uh, on top of that, we had also um, comments that China, U.S. and China, so U.S. is going to um, create an interim deal with China, and that was really uh, good for the markets. So markets, equity markets really like that, and everything got pushed up as a result of that, which means the risk assets went up. Um, against the U.S. dollar on that news as well. So there was, so ECB did come in bigger than expected. However, there were other comments that came out shortly after, which caused uh, the euro to reverse. So overall, it was a very volatile day for euro as well as the markets. So coming up here on Friday, we have uh, trade balance numbers out of the eurozone. So these numbers are important, especially with our um, with the current market conditions. If the trade balance numbers are lower than expected, we're likely to see euro drop. And then we have um, euro. <coughs> excuse me. We have euro group meetings uh, here as well. So any comments that come out of these uh, meetings will. Uh, will be important and they can move the euro around. So keep an eye on that. And other than that, we have core retail sales and retail sales numbers for the US, as well as consumer sentiment, preliminary consumer sentiment numbers here. So if the data is below expectations, it will have a negative impact on the US dollar. All right, so let's move on to our charts now. For the euro dollar, so this is what we saw. Price went from 
the top of the range to absolute bottom of the range. The thing though is it's still in the range. It hasn't broken out yet. The candle close here, here is quite bullish. We have a large pin to the downside and a big bullish candle close, but it hasn't quite broken out of the range. So bias is bullish here. However, if it doesn't close above the top of the range, we could see price come back down into the range. So this is very important. It's right into our resistance. As long as price stays below 1.1080, it's likely to drop. Now, if we see price go through this resistance, then I would look for a pullback and we could see a further continuation move to the upside. So in that case, our target here, the first target would be 1.1120, second target 1.1160 back into the high here. So for now, bullish bias, but with caution. Pound dollar here, this one is neutral. We have seen that price has been sitting in this range for several days now and the candle close. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, I'm a little under the weather, so please bear with me. So this one here, uh, we have a neutral candle close. So this one could go in either direction. Now, what I would keep an eye on would be how price reacts at 1.2290 level. If price goes into the support level like it did earlier today and doesn't break through, then we could see a move higher. But overall though, this range that it's trading in is higher than the previous high. So if it continues to be in this range, then bias would still be more to the upside than to the downside. Now for it to continue lower, we need to see a break and then a further move to the downside. For now though, for now though bias is neutral and I will monitor this 1.2280 resistance support resistance level, res, uh, resistance turning into support. So as long as it stays above, <coughs> excuse me, then we could go back into the top of the range here. So neutral bias for a pound dollar. Aussie dollar here, Aussie, we have a pin here in Aussie. So bias is bearish. With this one, we could get a pullback here a little bit higher into 0 0.6880 and then a drop, but bias is bearish. So first target is 0 0.6850 and then 0 0.6820. So bias is bearish for Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar here, this one as well, we have a bearish candle close. So price has been um, trading in this range sideways for a while now, but it's rejected this high multiple times. So now I'm looking for price to come back down into 0 0.6360 level. Now, keep in mind though, we are right into support at the moment. So if price does not break through 6400, it could just go back up again. So it's very important that we see a break of the low for today. If it doesn't, it could go higher. But for now, bias is bearish. Target is 0 0.6360 as the first target and then if it likes to continue if it wants to continue down we're looking at 0 0.6320 so bearish bias here for new zealand dollar dollar cat here this one is looking bullish we got a pullback into this level that we had talked about yesterday so bias is bullish here and uh, the candle close is not very strongly bullish there's some pins on both sides but still bullish nonetheless so I would look for this type of a move, a potential pullback into 1.3200, and then a further move higher into 1.3250. So bias is bullish here for dollar CAD. All right, silver here. Silver is looking bearish here. We have a large pin. So all that talk about um, delaying of the tariffs as well as US and China considering an interim deal, all of that are positive signs for the equity markets, which means our safe haven assets drop as a result. So with this one, bias is bearish. We could get a pullback into 18.25, but then looking for a drop into 17.80, uh, potentially into 17.50.
but bias here is bearish for silver. Gold, same thing here. We did see price go up quite a bit and then it has come back down here. So bias is bearish with this one. We have a large pin, which suggests price could move lower. So bearish bias target is 1480 and then 1470. Bias is bearish. Oil, big drop in oil here. So um, with oil, one of the things that we saw come out was um, an announcement or some sort of comment that said President Trump will be uh, meeting with, um, with uh, Iranian authorities. So that is actually a positive comment for the markets, but a negative comment for oil. So if US and Iran figure out their relationship and the sanctions are removed or they come to some sort of an agreement, that means the oil supply will increase with Iran being able to supply all the uh, supply oil in the market. So that is negative for oil. And that's why we have seen oil drop here. So we have a bearish candle close here, biases to the downside, looking for it to go lower into 53.80 and then potentially into 52.80. So bias is bearish for oil. Copper here, copper is looking bullish. We did see that pullback and now we have a bullish candle close here. So bias is bullish. Now we are into resistance, so just be mindful of that. But looking for a further move to the upside here. So once we see that break, looking for it to continue higher and then potentially into the next target here. So first target here would be 2.64, then 2.68 here. So bias is bullish for copper. Bitcoin here, this one has turned or seems to be turning here. We did have a neutral candle and now a bullish one. So bias is bullish. Next target here would be 10,680 and then 10,800. So bias is bullish for Bitcoin. Equity markets. Equity markets are interesting here. We do have a pin on the top, which means equities could drop. So watch out for that. What I would look for here would be a retest of today's high. As long as it doesn't go through, we could see a drop here into 2990. So watch out for this resistance level right into the high. Now it could go into 3020 level as well, which is our top of these candles. So just keep that in mind. The bias um, is neutral here. I think we could see a turn. So that's something to pay attention to. For now, I would look for a bit of a move up uh, to retest the high and then potentially a drop towards 29.90. S&P 5, sorry, we've talked about S&P 500, NASDAQ here, same thing here. There's a large pin on top, which suggests that markets could turn around. So this one, um, again, we could get a retest of the high of today or 79.50 area right into here. And then I'm looking for price to drop here. So bias is neutral and we could see a turn here. So looking for price to come back down into 78.80 and then potentially into 77.80. So neutral bias and looking for a potential turn. DAX here, this one is neutral candle close as well. We are into resistance, so keep that in mind. But if it does break the high, next target is uh, 12,500. But if price goes to test the high and then holds below, then I will look for price to drop into 12,300. So overall though, bias is neutral for DAX. FTSE here, FTSE is interesting. We saw price pull, pull down, but then this one's looking like this one could move higher. It's holding above this previous support resistance level. So I would say neutral for this one because we are into resistance. Um, and this is not the best bullish signal here. It does show rejection of the lower, uh, lower level, which means prices could go up. So, but because we are into resistance, that um, is a little problematic because things could change. So just like this one here, it turned lower, 
we could get price turning lower. So watch out for that. So bias is neutral. And if it breaks through 73.80, then I will look for the next level here at 74.50. But if it stays below 73.80, then we could see price move back into this range again. So neutral bias for FTSE as well. And we have Nikkei, which closed quite bullish here. And now it's gone right through the resistance here. And this one could go further. So bias is bullish for Nikkei. So as long as price holds above 21,800, we could see this one move higher here. So bias that we have here is bullish for Nikkei. All right, so that's all for today. You guys have a wonderful trading day tomorrow. And I will see you again on Sunday. Bye for now.